I literally have a hat full of questions here. I've never seen any of these questions, so I apologize for my inability to read. Neither have we. Okay. Where, where do they come from? All right. All right, Alex, I'm going to throw this first question to you because you're the closest person to me, and apparently Beautiful. you got your name right. Great. What's your favorite convention oh. in America? Ooh. All right. All right. You know what? I'm just going to throw, I'm just going to throw them under the bus. My favorite convention was SGC, Ooh. Uh, but like it got eaten by RTX, oh. uh, so it's not going to be the same this year, so we're going to Evo instead. But okay. I like this one a lot because it's about the same size, and I think that any bigger you get a little bit of headache. Okay, well, get ready for some headache, guys, because this oh, thing's girl. only blowing up. We're about to get... <laughs> I was going to say something gross. <laughs> off. He said off. Yeah. This is what he was going to say. We're about to kick off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get... S- what? What? Oh, it's Fillmore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any of you guys, this is a good question. What made you decide to get into YouTube? Nothing better to do. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did not write these questions. I actually started uh, in in like proper gaming journalism, like reviews and whatnot, and okay. like doing interviews and stuff. And I was just sort of like asked by uh, the completionist if I wanted to like work with him because I sort of had that sort of extra sort of like contact with the industry. Okay, all and, right. And I, you know, I didn't expect it to be so successful. You guys, more concise answer. <laughs> Damn, you're adorable. <laughs> uh, seriously, we were, we were already doing what we we're doing on YouTube now, so we were like, hey, let's just take a video camera to it and just see what happens and see if people watch it. And then uh, a handful of people were like, ah, this is all right, so we kept on doing it. I hear you guys are a big deal now. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Not really. Somebody lied to you. <laughs> we're, we're, we're chodes is what we oh, are. I, I, <laughs> that's the official rap sheet I got. Is the yeah. first <laughs> line one, these guys are chodes. <laughs> so how long does it take to finish a video? I'm sure you guys have different production processes. Yeah. Um, on our end, um, a lot of the uh, video production part starts with the videotaping, which could be like an all-day process. Uh, but then the editing tack on another 40, 50 hours. So any Game Chasers video, I don't know, 50, 60 hours for, per video, maybe? Per video? Yeah. So if you were to average that out maybe per hour, how much editing time goes really into just a small amount of video? Uh, yeah. I mean, usually, usually shows like the we do, one we do, we'll have a whole editing team if you see it on TV and oh, stuff. Oh, cool. So uh, the fact that it's on YouTube and it's just kind of like a one-man crew doing the editing process. Right. Uh, it, and... Sometimes the unavailability of the cameraman involved. Uh, we just we have to do whatever we can, and sometimes that just involves doing uh, one show per month as opposed to like one per week. Okay, you guys. Uh, okay, well, okay, I'm gonna just jump in. So the Dex is shot in about one episode. Of the Dex, which is about seven minutes, is shot in about 40 minutes because we do it with a teleprompter. Uh, and then it takes about five hours to edit. Beard Bros is much quicker. It takes, you see exactly how long it takes to film because we don't ever cut, ever, even if our phone rings or Gerard <laughs> freaking falls asleep. Um, <laughs> but, uh, which has happened multiple times in episodes. Uh, but then it takes about 30 minutes to edit an episode of Super Beard Bros because we have a template and it's like very easy. Um, the Completionist takes <laughs> weeks. I, it's crazy. Like playing the game from start to finish 100% is by far the longest part but actually editing it also takes like probably 40 to 60 hours per episode cuz they're getting long aren't they <laughs> yeah yeah I, I don't i don't envy that in any sort of way you the amount of work that puts goes into that it's crazy boys like if we didn't have an office we'd be dead people <laughs> dead people yeah that's the official term you heard it here dead boys they'd, they'd be dead boys <laughs> we haven't heard much from you you going to pipe up oh uh, well, I, I, I guess it depends on the topic. Um, like my Satori Wada video took six months. Six um, months. Damn, no. Power Glove, four months. But I'm doing multiple topics at the same time so I can keep putting stuff out. Is so. it like a research thing? Yeah, it's a lot of research, you know. I don't, I don't just hop on Wikipedia and then write, write a, you know episode and then put it out, you know. Right. Yeah, true story. He's actually told me before. It's like I had to order this super, super secret book from Japan just to I did. to get the info that I needed. I did because I wanted a picture. And, yeah, it was only in that. I book. mean, that so that just tells you that the time and dedication that he puts into it. Thank you, Billy. Hey, no problem. I expect a little something later in the form of loving. <laughs> 
That leads me to my next question. <laughs> Who's the YouTuber you'd be most excited to meet? Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the guy who does pop fiction, Mark Demiani. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Yeah, um, pause. I don't. You, you do this long enough, you wind up meeting everybody. So I don't really have anyone that I haven't met yet. That's that's like, cool. I just have to meet this guy. I already have. So I I'd, I'd love to meet the dickwad that keeps leaving stupid comments on our videos. <laughs> the the one. I love I love to meet him. <laughs> the one. I won't I won't say his jerks. name in public, but oh, it's that one guy. It's that. It's that well. No, hold on. The one. There's several, but there's one in particular I'd really love to meet. <laughs> These are big guys. Like you don't see it sitting here, but yeah, big guys. I, I, I usually I don't watch a lot of Let's Plays, but I would I'd like to meet Markiplier. I think he's pretty funny. He's, he's super a pretty nice. funny guy. He's super nice. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up for Markiplier. Yeah. yeah I like him. He's it's the good. biggest applause we've Small gotten all day. Small half round of applause. <laughs> Somebody actually asked, "How do I haggle for good game deals?" Oh. oh. Okay. All right. You guys answer this question because you're the cheapest guys I know. So. <laughs> Two bucks, first of all. Now, you know what? Look, my thing is, whoever is selling needs my, my money more than I need their shit. So if they're not going to work with me on price, then I'm not going to give them their money. They, they're trying to make a living. They're trying to pay a bill or whatever. And I know, oh, you're such an asshole. You're trying to undercut them. I don't, I don't fucking care. So just don't, don't pay retail. Start low and then meet in the middle somewhere. So a lot of people are just very hesitant to ask, you know, especially the cons. Yeah. Sorry if there's any vendors in here looking at me like, oh, shut up, you mother... <laughs> no, but seriously, just ask. The worst they're going to say is no. And if they say no, you're no worse situation than you were if you don't buy the game at all. So just Yeah, it's just not ask. personal. Sometimes it gets personal. Sometimes it gets personal. <laughs> I mean, don't, like, lowball. That's all. It's no, it's definitely yeah. lowball. Yeah. Nothing, nothing wrong with lowball. So a fun thing about asking questions from a hat is you don't know what's going to be next. You want me to just say it? Let's go ahead. Boxers or briefs? briefs. Really? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm a brief man. Okay. Wait, right. did you say you wear briefs? All briefs right. all no, day. No nuts. No nuts. Man. Show us. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> what about, uh, what about the boxer briefs? Boxers. That's, yeah, it's more that's like the boxer briefs. the best of both worlds. I was yeah. really. say, it's more like boxer briefs. I, I, I wear boxer briefs. Is this a show and tell? I wear boxer briefs. It's like a vice with a gentle hand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, straight up boxers because I'm not 12. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> okay. All right. Boxers for sure. Strong guy who's holding I back. I still wear underoos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh, by the way, get your, get your Game Chasers underoos at our booth. <laughs> <laughs> no one would buy those. So, buy how can I get started in YouTube? How many times have you been asked this question, first of all? A lot. 65. <laughs> at least. Like, actually. <laughs> I like how it's a, he, he knew the number. How do you get started in YouTube? Just make a video and upload it. Like, that's really the stupid, simple answer, but... Um, I guess be, be yourself. There, there's, you can't just, really be, I don't want to say you can't be unique, um, but definitely put your own personality into whatever you're right, doing. Right, right. Um, at this point, everything's been done, from cat videos to American Picker ripoff shows. Yeah. To, I mean, everything's <laughs> been F done. F those shows. <laughs> no, people actually literally, literally send me tons of videos every day, like, check out my stuff, check out my stuff. And, you know, uh, it's... A lot of it I'll look at, and it's like it really is kind of the same stuff that everyone else is doing. So do, do you know, show your own personality. Do what you uh, – when you're making a video, do something that you would enjoy watching. Like if you are finished with the video, think, think to yourself, is this something I would enjoy watching if I just came across it? And just have fun with it. Have fun with it. Don't worry about, oh, my subscriber count. Oh, my view count. Do it. Start off. Have fun with it. That's what we did. And you know, not a, it's not going to work out every time, but you know, that's a good starting point. Another thing that I always say when I get asked this is like, people always like try and tell me like, oh, but I only have like this camera, or I only have this capture card, or I only have this software. And I don't think it's so much what camera you have or whatever. Like, it's not about like how much money you're willing to spend on gear. It's about how much you're willing to work to make the best thing that you possibly can. Because here's the thing, right? Like. People can smell BS, you know what I mean? Like, they can smell when you're phoning it in, you know, and that's why nobody likes, like, watching a 
comedy show that has like inside jokes it makes you feel like you're left out or something like that like they can Damn. it's it's like about it's about like being true and honest you know what i mean and if you're giving it a shot if you're actually giving it a shot and you're treating it like you're a professional and that your audience is like a smart person who can like you know meet you halfway on the quality uh, I think that's the thing that you really need to stick, I, I, like, you know, really make sure that you're doing. It's like, if you're not going to give it your all, don't just, like, set up your capture card and, like, do a JonTron impression. Like, nobody wants to see that. Like, we already have JonTron, and he's doing fine. You know what I mean? Like, do, do your own thing and do it the best that you can, or why the hell are you doing it? You know? Can I say bad words? What are we? What are we? Where are we? No, we're, we're allowed to say one curse word per person. That's yeah. what we were then told. We oh, get, great. Then okay, we get perfect. the oh, R rating, perfect, perfect, but we're perfect. still within good yeah. bounds. Uh, shit, no, shit, shit. Yeah, no, yeah. I have not said fuck once. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> now you said it twice. Man. I was like fourth time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that that's his one. He, he's that's, good. That's, that's, like four. that's Shut up, Chris. <laughs> Nobody's keeping count. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. All right, so is it weird getting recognized in public because of your videos? At first, yes, absolutely. It was strange to, like, someone walk up and be like, holy shit, you're the Game Chasers. That's and your one, by the way. That's, like, my four, by the Damn. way. Damn. <laughs> um, All right. Now, you know, you get, um, yeah, yeah, at first it's weird, and then it's still, um, what's the word I'm looking for here, guys? It's still, it's weird. Still, it's neat. Yeah, it's still kind of weird. Surreal? <laughs> Yeah, Surreal. yeah, yeah a little is. bit. Because, like, I've been recognized at, like, Raising Cane's. And <laughs> uh, it, it, do they have Raising Cane's here? They do. We John, just got them. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's so, it's, yeah, it's like, a chicken I went, restaurant, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. it is. I went to Raising Cane's in Fort Worth, ordered my food, and I stepped back, and I'm just waiting. And the cook came out from the back and was like, holy shit, are you Jay? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, did, did I bang your girlfriend? Please say no. But, and he, and he was what? like, yeah, I, I love your show. It's so great, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, that's, that's really awesome. Thank you. So. Same thing kind of happened to me. I was at the grocery store, and I was going through the meat section, and all of a sudden I look up, and there's a damn butcher running after me. Like, literally, <laughs> he was covered in blood. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fudge hey. is going on here? And he goes, oh, my God, you're Billy from the game. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's me. Uh, it's just, it's cool because it shows that people enjoy your stuff, bottom line. Yeah, I don't really mind it. It's like most of my life I just get to walk around and be a normal dude because, like, let's be real, like, YouTube is not, you know, the same as being on a television show or being on a, yeah. in a movie. We're all normal dudes. Yeah, it just feels, it, 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 if somebody's like, dude, like, this is, like, awesome that you do this and, like, keep doing it and, like, that's awesome. That's that's great. Like I don't I don't ever mind when somebody says that. I wish somebody would say that for me when I used to work at Blockbuster. You know what I mean? Well, to to me to me personally, it's not even so much about well we're not equal to TV or movies or anything like that. It's more like I feel like oh I'm not a doctor saving lives. I'm not like right. I'm not in the military going out and helping people or a paramedic. Those are to me those are the real people that really deserve recognition and and you know I, I, don't get me wrong I'm appreciative of it. And I know we make have, have an influence, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't really feel like I'm anything special at all. And I'm not. I'm really not. But it's encouraging, right? It's like, yeah, it, it is. Good. It yeah. is. So I have a couple different directions we can go here. Do you guys want to talk more about technical stuff, or do you want to talk about performing? I'll do uh, any of that. Performing. All right. So <laughs> let's talk about a bad experience that you had on the road. Bad can you think of a time? Oh, wow. Oh, I've got <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> He's got plenty. <laughs> now the quiet guy speaks up. Go ahead, Chris. So, so w we go to see Norm, and it's about a nine-hour drive, and this show is not scripted, and I decide to drive for whatever reason. So I've got Yay and Who over here <laughs> in the in the vehicle, you know, jacking off, doing whatever they do. Did you say jacking off? Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> not once have we ever done. Not once have we ever done that. We're not Eric. Okay, <laughs> which has happened. It took me weeks to get that smell out of my vehicle. <laughs> oh, no. So that, that's my bad experience. Hey, what, it, about, what about when we got to so your friend's house? <laughs> and you start ripping ass <laughs> at a stranger's place. <laughs> so we had, the back story on this is we had just bought some video games from one of his friends, right? We were in the basement. And so we're, we're about to leave, right? So... 
him and his friend are downstairs talking. And we're, we all three go upstairs, and we're standing by the door, and we, you know, we're, we're about to leave. Well, Billy decides to let one go, and I'm like, that's disgusting. How could you do that? And then Two I let seconds one... later, he's like. <laughs> so we start laughing like a bunch of little five-year-olds. And it added to the comedic factor because then him and his friend came up and were like, what's so funny? <laughs> and no one wanted to tell him, so. Norm, Norm, is this the first time you're hearing this? No, he was there. No, I was there. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep. he's giving us the same look keep, he did when it happened. Like, I can't believe y'all. Keep in mind, we're, we've, we've only been at this guy's place for literally like 20 minutes, never known him before. <laughs> and he had just given you amazing deals on games, yes. and you're like farting in his living room. Hey, not <laughs> them, them, Lord, them. You were right by the door, too. You could have just walked outside. <laughs> Appreciate the deals. Let me let me just drop it. You know, I, wait. I wouldn't consider that a bad experience, though. That's definitely a funny experience. Yeah, that was, that was a, a, a hoot. Bad ex- hang on, a bad experience would be coming back home from uh, where were we at? Toronto. I'm not even gonna talk about that. <laughs> with, with Eric. No, no. once you tell no. everybody this. No, please don't tell that story. Well, we'll just say okay. Okay, story. look, look. I, I'll no. I'll familify it. I'll familify it. No, okay. you can't familify. Oh no, no, no. I can't. Trust me. No, Eric, I, I, Eric, hang on, hang Eric, on. Hold Eric. Wait, wait, I got it, I got it. I got it. So look, so we, we drive everywhere we go, okay? We were in uh, Hamilton, Ontario, which is like 30 minutes south of Toronto. We're at um, uh, Com Bravo out there. So on our way home, Norm had ridden up there with us from Dallas. So we were like, you know what? Right up there, we'll take you back home to Kansas City before we go home. Well, we get to about St. Louis, and I just I can't drive anymore. I've drove the entire way there. I've driven from Toronto to, to St. Louis. So we pull over, and Norm's like, I'll drive. Okay, we're about four hours from Kansas City. So I get in the back seat, and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get a little bit of sleep because I think I deserve it at this point. So I'm, I'm like this. Right, all, all nestled up on the window like this. And all of a sudden. <laughs> I smell something. It smells like a combination of um, Doritos. Feet, Doritos, and asshole. And hot garbage on, on like a hot, humid Houston 105 degree temperature day. And I'm like, what the fuck? Over here, and I look over, and Eric, are there any kids in here? There's two. Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. There are children who, in here, by the way. Who here knows who Eight Bit Eric is? Please raise your hand. Okay, Eric was participating in self-loving. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to look over. I'm like, Eric, what are you doing? Dude, okay, the entire car smells up with, with a, what, what does he call it? Schmegma. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, Eric, what are you doing? He goes, what, I'm taking a pic for someone on, on Instagram or Twitter or something. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, that can't wait? So that was a horrible experience. That was, that was the worst experience ever. I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to see anybody top that. I think Phil almost had a heart attack. Okay. <laughs> That's probably terrible. No, he's into it. He loves it. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's, let's bring it back a little bit. Uh, I want to hear what you guys' thoughts are on YouTube Red. No, not Red 2. <laughs> YouTube Red. Honestly, what, the question? <laughs> what do we think about YouTube What are YouTube your thoughts Red? on YouTube Red, seriously? I, I think it's too early to say, honestly. I, like, we can track, like, how it's affecting us and how it's not affecting us. But like, I feel like YouTube Red hasn't really be, I feel like there's a lot more shows on YouTube Red that are have still yet to come out and I don't know how many people are gonna like care enough to watch them. I don't think that they've been doing a good enough job of like advertising it to people yet to see like what their actual, like what the actual number of people who are gonna subscribe to it look like yet. Um, but I don't know, like I feel like YouTube at least, like they're really dumb. Like YouTube is like, like if you imagine like, some wizards who like figured out some amazing like magical like demon somewhere but they like don't know how to control it and it's just like eating them alive and taking over their minds that's what the like staff of youtube is like it's just like they don't like like, it's too big for anybody to fully comprehend unless your name's matt pat but like yeah i know he blows my mind but like youtube red is like a new thing and i think that they realize that if it really screws over the creators like we like it's hold on i don't know 
It's, it's distracting me. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. It's the subway announcement. It's yeah. <laughs> basically, basically, like, I feel like they wouldn't do something so stupid that they would just create, like, a PR nightmare for themselves, if that makes sense. Like, I think that they must have our interest in, in mind because if somebody at the top turns on them about YouTube Red, it's, it's going to be a disaster, you know what I mean? And I, and I think that that's going to be fine. I think, I think we're, we're going to see sort of, like, a return on it, and I think that, I think in the end, it's going to be okay. I know, that, I know that the perception is that, like, it's taking money from us because no ads, but I think that once we have the, when it's up and running at full power, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, I, I actually have YouTube Red, and I like it. Um, it's kind of weird that every single video you click on, there are no more ads. It's very surreal, kind of, because I mean, no one really likes advertisements, so if you're willing to pay to have no ads, I think that's fine. You know? Yeah. I, well, I think it's nice. I think they're try what they're trying to really do is be in the next Netflix, sort of. And that's, right. that's yeah, it's not really working out that way, but here, you do get a good deal because if you get YouTube Red, you get Google Play Music for free with it, and that's pretty awesome. It's like, like Spotify or something, It's right? like Spotify, yeah. yeah. So they do, it, it does come with a lot of stuff, but like the original YouTube Red shows, not I've watched good. a few and they're, they're not that good. Scare PewDiePie like, is. They're, they're not <laughs> worth subscribing to watch. But basically. I do know that there's some better ones coming. And Ooh, I will say that. Do you have that, some uh, insider info here? I might, I might appear in one of them as a, as a guest. Ooh. We'll, Ooh. See. we'll see. We'll see. Interesting. We'll see. Round of applause for Alex. Yes. So, All right. Conflict of interest. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not making any money off of it. I just appear as a guest. But I, I, I think that. I think that. I think it's gonna be okay. I, I've had this opinion the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> how, how do you feel about your channels? I mean, is it better? Is it detrimental to what you're doing? Really, no change at all. Yeah, no change so far. It's based around watch time. Sure. So anything that is being like any channels that are being affected by the algorithm changing to be based on watch time are gonna, you know, still have the same problem that they had when that happened. But other than that, it's not really affecting me in any way. Yeah, kind of same here. Um, most people, when they watch a Game Teachers episode, which is around 20, 25 minutes long, they'll, they'll well, for the most part, watch the whole thing through. For the people who want to make the YouTube you know, episodes and do their own thing like you guys are doing, what do you think is a good length for a, a video? As long as people will watch at this point. Like, honestly, the entire system is based around creating a session. And what a session is, is it's not just like watching one video that's like an hour long. It's like if you watch a whole episode of the Game Chasers, but you, you know, and then you hit you up realize, the backlog. Like, yeah, you're like, well, I, I like this, this show, but I want to watch like four more episodes of it. Or I'm going to go watch the Game Chasers, and then, you know, the thing comes up, and they see Norm's videos, and they go click on, on, on that, and then, they, and then they go to my videos or whatever, like bam, 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 bam. That's still a session. So as long as you can keep somebody watching YouTube as long as possible, that's all YouTube cares about because they want to make money off ads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of the questions left over here are actually not questions. They're phone numbers. This one's a crudely drawn picture. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I already asked that question. Uh, have you seen Tremors? That's an important question. Tremors is yeah. awesome. Yes. Who doesn't Who like Tremors? Tremors? Okay. It's a right. great film. <laughs> a and um, best hamburger you've ever eaten? We'll, let, we'll close it up with that this question. Is wow. Take the rest of the time. That's it. This is all the time we have left for us. So this question, there it is. So somebody recommended a place called Trevor's around here. Is that right? Tucker's. 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 Tuckers. Same thing. Starts with T. Um, Thoughts on Tucker's locals? Anyone? Yeah. Got, some, okay. got a bigger right. applause than Markiplier. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, wow. Um, for me, <laughs> there's this place. Uh, it's a toss-up. There's two places in Arlington. <laughs> and it's not because that's where I live. Because there's this really badass burger joint in um, Beatty. San Antonio called Sam's but these two in Arlington there's one called uh, Chop House. We have House. Sam's. It's part of Walmart though. No, it's different. It's like an independent. <laughs> um, the first place is called, uh, called uh, Chop House Burgers Ooh. and the other one is called Twisted Root. Oh, I don't know yeah. if you guys have that here or not. I don't think we do. No. But, yeah, we that, may. I'm not me, sure. Those are the top. Would you shut up? Meaty. Not, not you, him. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, what the is, is Cattleman's good around here? I've heard Cattleman's. Is as good. far as burgers, I don't know. If Cattleman's uh, I, I does guess a burger. Not, I guess like in general, is Cattleman's good? It's good. Okay. Go for the experience. Cool. All right. Yeah. I'm do that. Be, but believe it or not, best burger I've ever had was. This is gonna be, sound weird, but, and I don't know if it was just because I was super hungry. It was at a hotel. Hungry. Hotel in downtown Chicago, room service burger. 
the fuck? I s <laughs> seriously, I can't remember the, na the name of the hotel. But it was delicious. It was that Best good. burger I've ever so had. So good you couldn't remember the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it was like a forty dollar hey, burger too. You, wow. You've been to Twisted burger. Root, Norm? Huh? You've been to Twisted Root. Yeah, that's good. Oh, but it ain't no Chicago hotel burger. It, it ain't no hotel burger. I th I think I was just super hungry that night, but like I have never had a burger. You just nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I think it's a big question. What's the best burger I've ever had in my life? Because please gotta, don't say In and Out. I will fucking say In and Out oh. because that's my. I'm gonna take my cuss word right there because oh. In and Out burger is great. Uh, but the thing is, like, you got to look at it in tiers, right? Because how does an In-N-Out burger compare to a McDonald's burger to a Five Guys burger versus, you know, a Chicago? Look, I'm gonna say In-N-Out. Do you guys have In-N-Out here? Nope. No. Okay, you're not missing out. Trust me. Um, In-N-Out is like a wannabe water burger. It's like water burger that's been sucks, out for three days. Man, it oh, sucks. Man, it sucks. watch it. Better uh, watch it. All right, let's go to Whataburger at like 12:30 tonight. All right, yeah, let's after go. you've had a few, yeah, okay, and, and see then, if you and get then a patty melt down. You know, you know yeah. what? I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever had Whataburger when I wasn't like drunk off my ass. <laughs> but I'll tell you that In-N-Out Burger, the thing that gets me about it, the thing that's good about it, is that it's 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 not really like that's the thing. Like it's not really like I wouldn't put it on like the 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 table with like burgers and be like this is the best burger. But like what it, it's like a it's like a Big Mac. Like you don't eat a Big Mac because you want a good burger. You want to, you eat a Big Mac because you want a damn Big Mac. You know what I mean? Nobody's under the illusion that in that that Big Mac is a good burger. It's just like you want it sometimes. And the In-N-Out burger is fresh. It has two patties. It has delicious onions. Everything about it is perfectly done. The customer service is amazing and they're open till th 3 is in the morning. Is this a sponsored I'm just telling you. I'm just, I'm just telling you. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. But if we're talking about the best burger that I've ever had in my entire life, ever, technically, ever, ever, there's a spot in Los Angeles called Father's Office. And uh, it's a gourmet place. They have a burger that they're like dicks about. They don't like, they won't substitute anything on it because it's like, it's like such a renowned burger. It's very good though. It's like kind of hoity toity, but it's like real good. But those are my two. So come at me. Come you at me, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. You know what's badass? What, what, where was that place we went to, Norm? That, what was it called? Winston. 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 Winston's. Winston's. Dude, that place, man. That place is pretty good. That where, place. Where is this? Like, I'm addicted to that place. I think about it nightly. It's, it's called Winstead's. It's in Kansas City. It's like a, it's like, uh, what, are they, what are they called? When it's they a steak, the steak burger? burger? Steak, steak burger, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. not far from here. Flat Road heads. trip. Everybody get Everyone, in my Everyone, let's go to Winston's. What's that spot in Seattle called? Dukes? Dukes? I don't know. That's a good spot too. Oh, oh, the spot in Seattle. It's oh, great. the one that we've all been to. It's like one of those places that's always on TV for like being like you know the Space Needle, like Ray's, Starbucks, like Ray's Pizza or something like that, <laughs> where it's like oh, it's famous. It I'm was good. To, Wait, I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, on, have, to, I'm gonna have to interject here. I mean, and this is not a burger place. Oh, here we go. This is something. This is something different. All right. Coors. But no, no. The best burger that I've had has come from Cotton Patch Cafe. I have to. I have to give it up for the the triple really? meat. Yes. Triple meat, oh, you apple would. wood, smoked bacon, cheeseburger. <laughs> Legit. Uh, Legit. W w Wendy's isn't bad either. Who here likes Wendy's? Fast food burger, yep. Wendy's takes the Wendy's cake. nuts are in your mouth! <laughs> 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 all right, guys, I think that's all the time we have for. Yeah, go ahead and wrap it up. After <laughs> all right, guys, thank you very much for listening to all these thank questions from a hat. If you didn't submit any questions, maybe next year you'll submit qu more questions uh, than what's living in your beard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. My face. Yeah, what is living in it? <laughs> it's brilliant. I think that's a the best human answer I've ever with heard. With a heart. <laughs> Who's more than just a facial feature? <laughs> Thanks for naming your show after it. That's yeah. Good too. yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for coming up on stage and answering some questions with us. Thank, thank you, you yeah. for being here. They're going to be doing autographs right over there if you guys want to get some extra questions in. Don't forget we have our game show right here at 5 o'clock tonight. We're giving away a ton of stuff for free, and I'm going to be giving it to you. Yes, I said that. All right, thank you guys very much. Thank you, everyone. You were a great audience.